What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've made some room in the shop for a new addition. The 60 watt MOPA fiber laser from OM Tech is joining the team. Let's get it unboxed. So I'll be the first to admit I messed up filming this. I didn't realize I filmed in portrait rather than landscape mode until everything was unpacked and I was starting to look at the videos to edit it. So here we are. Um, first thing you wanna do is start bending up the tabs that hold the crates together. Uh, first you wanna work your way around the lid portion so you can get that lid off. Then you wanna remove all the styrofoam. There's quite a bit of styrofoam in there, um, various sizes to fit in all the nooks and crannies. So have a trash bag available nearby so you can uh, get rid of all this stuff and not make a huge mess in your shop or garage. Um, once you get all the pieces out, you wanna start working on the front of the crate. Once again, on the front of the crate, there's more tabs to remove. This way, so you don't have to deadlift the laser out above the top. You can just slide it out the side of the crate. Go ahead and bear, give it a little bear hug like here. And uh, I moved it over a short distance over to a table so I can start unwrapping it with a razor blade. Careful where you cut with the razor blade since there's a lot of wires and everything in there. You don't want to cut the wrong thing. So be careful, be cautious, and take your time. The next thing you want to find is your toolbox. It has a lot of different uh, components in it including some hex keys, some rails, all your power cords, stuff like that. But what we're looking for right now is the instructions. And then next we're gonna look for the turn knob that goes at the top of the tower that raises and lowers your fiber laser head. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna undo that little small bolt at the top of the tower there, find the corresponding hex key or Allen wrench, whatever you want to call it. Then we're going to slide that turn knob over the top of the tower there and tighten down the bolt. So then we can raise and lower the arm in order to get out the rest of the components. Once everything's tightened down, you can start to raise your laser head and start removing the rest of the styrofoam and then really seeing the rest of the components that's uh, included in the crate. Next step is we're going to attach some cords to the back of the machine. First one up is the power cord. It only goes in one way, so get it lined up. Press it in there pretty firm, and then you can tighten the collar around it for the secure fit where it won't come out. Then we're going to attach the USB cable, which attaches to your computer, laptop, um, desktop, whatever you have, um, in order to send files to the fiber laser. The last step is just to get the laser in place with the other fiber lasers. Remove the last part of the packaging protecting the laser head. Turn it on. Make sure everything works. Remove the dust cover from the lens. We're good to go. Everything seems to be working just fine. Now we'll get to do some testing, establish our focus height, and we're ready to start the laser. Let's see what this thing can do.